So now that we have our tool set, everything's set off of our tool setter over here, so everything is in the right height as far as Z, now we need to set the fixture offset. Now, you only require one tool, but we need to be able to have an offset value because if you notice here, we set all of our tools off of this point, which is about two inches or so, and if you look down on the level, our fixture offset is actually higher than that. Okay, so there's a way that we can use the machine and the tools to go ahead and figure that out. So let's get started. We're going to go back here to this menu. This is our work zero offset. Notice that the Z is zero. Uh, that means that right now that all of the tools are going to line up at this height right here. Because it's zero, wherever the tools are set is where that's going to be. But again, we need to raise it up and get it to this level. So let's go through this real quick. We're going to go to handle jog. That way we can move. Notice jogging the z-axis, uh, axis we're in 10 thousandths. And we're going to go through and act like we're going to set this tool. So we're going to bring this down. Okay. Touch this off here. Turn it into tenths. Back it off. And now we have illumination. So. When we go over here and look at our screen, we're going to go to our offset. Notice here that we're really, really close, whether we're within two tenths of where we were before. So if we want to reset, we, we frankly can. So just tool offset measure changes that value there. Now, here's the trick. We need to figure out the distance from where this tool is at the tool setter to, again, the top of the part. So how we can do it in the control, okay, is we can go to position. All right, and we can page up and it will actually give us this value here. Now this is our kind of our reset. I found a quick way to do this is, is go to, um, go to MDI, go back to handle jog, and it's reset our Z for us, okay? Now we have it moved over there on the tool setter. So at this point, it's gonna record whatever height difference and whatever movement difference on the X and Y that we're gonna have, because we're gonna need that Z value. So let's go ahead and jog. I'm gonna put this in 10 thousands. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start to drive this up and out of the way. And bring this same very tool over to where I can do one of our standard offsets. So I'm going to set you down real quick. And you should be looking where you need to. Put this in one thousandths and Z. And we're going to go ahead and do this little process. Okay, I can't move my paper anymore. I'm set at the top. So let's come back over here and look at what we have at the control. Essentially what you have here is, you see that now the Z value is 3.194, okay? We need this number because now we know that where the tool is going down in the negative direction, the part is 3.194 inches above that. So from our offset, we actually need to minus that value. Because again, you're going all the way down to that tool setter. Now you have to go 3.194 inches less than that. Okay? So how we get there is we simply go back to our offsets. Page up. We're G54. Okay? And remember, if you forget the number, very simply, you go back to position. 3.194 offset. Now we're going to negative. 3.194 and then we're going to F1 to set and now that value is in there. And again, remember, we're setting the tool farther down so we need to go not as far down so we're actually putting a negative value in here. Okay, and at this point, we're set. We can go back to our handle jog, okay, and we're jogging Z axis and so we can take this up and at this point, we'll remove our tool setters. 
and we're going to close the cabinet up here. We're going to go back to memory. We have our program in here that we're going to run. Uh, we're going to reset that. We're going to turn these rapids down just for safety. And we're going to cycle start. And back over here, if we can get a clear picture, you're going to see this jogging over. And as we're heading down, See, we're getting close to the part. I'm going to stop it here a second. You notice down here at the bottom, we got a distance away from the part. I can actually go over here and hit my position and then hit page up. You know, those, those are some of my last ones here. Position again, and you see that I have a distance to go, and I have about a hundred thousandths to go. And looking down here, it looks like I'm not going to run into anything. Sounds good. So we're going to have, go ahead and hit cycle start again. It's going to move over into position, go down, and begin to cut. Now I'm not running cooling at the moment, so um, we're not going to continue to run this. Uh, but you kind of get the idea of what's going on. So we're going to feed hold, reset, MDI, and go home. And based upon the value that we're supposed to be in Z, you can see here that we're right where we want to be.